Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer readings for Capricorn in Aquarius season. Hello, my Capricorns. Well, your birthday season has passed, but now the year is starting, and it's uh, it's definitely air energy now. So let's open the windows and get all the other energy flowing through. Now, you know when I am doing the longer readings, I'm using a bunch of cards. I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I then go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards for kind of clarification. Ask for words of advice from my Osha Zen Tarot cards. Finish up almost with my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. Definitely finish up pulling one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. So it could be a crystal, but it could also be an energy too. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, just deliver the message. Now, I have posted um, an Aquarius overview. I really think people should look at it. Um, because there's lots of stuff going on. I pulled some cards on it too, so please take a look. Okay, I have three cards for you, and they're all face down. They're all reversed. Reversed has a little stronger energy, so let's see what we have for my Capricorns. Here we go. And remember, we want to start Aquarius season. We want to start that air energy with strong words. We want to stay positive, you know, positive thoughts, positive words and we want to put out the positive put we want to put out into the universe the positive energy first card is again reversed page of air now air energy is aquarius it is also um it is also gemini it's also libra it's you know thought processes words um it is hearing news it could be you know how you're planning things out now, the page's underlying energy is also Earth, which is all about your work energy, too. So this is, you know, there could be news about a new job, news about a change in your job, news about a promotion with your job. Now, pages are very enthusiastic. Pages will do anything for you. Pages want to get involved. Even if they don't feel necessarily that they know that what they're going to do, they're going to fake it. They're just going to say that they can do it, and you know what? The page of air will know how to do it. The page of air will, and I think I kind of say that for you, my Capricorns, just because even if what, you know, if you are applying for a job, if you are trying a new venture, I'm going to go with the venture because um, this feels different than just job energy too. And I know that many of my Capricorns are into private businesses. They actually have, you know, they have private, uh, they have, different types of hobby and some of those are things that help to make the money so you know but this is you know even if you don't know what you're what you're necessarily all the things that they're looking for try for it anyway because you will get up to speed quicker you will be you you will get up to speed quicker quickly let's put it that way you will learn everything there is to learn about what it is you bring a lot of positivity you bring a lot of talent to whatever position you're looking for or whatever this venture is okay v e n t u r e because i'm feeling like it's more of a it's more of a um it, and not necessarily it's a concept because there's actually action and work with this but it's something that you are very into, interested in, and you want to promote and you want to put your energies into. Anyway, page of air is logical, honest, impulsive, curious. Challenging information, delays or change to plans, truth delivered without tact. So that is one thing too, you know, if you see something that doesn't make sense, you're going to just say, that doesn't make sense. Everybody else might be like, oh yes, that does make sense. You do not go along with the group think, which is actually good, and but not everybody agrees with that. Not everybody can appreciate that. You know, sometimes people like to surround themselves with yes men and women, okay, yes people. You are not one of them, but you would not feel good if, you, if that was what was required to you. 
So if you go into some sort of venture and you're feeling a little bit like, ah, not quite right, doesn't feel right, get out of it. Get out of it. Just say thanks, but no thanks. Anyway, next card reversed. Six of fire. Well, whatever you're going into, you ride into it victoriously. Fire energy is our um, Aries, it's our Leo, it's our Sagittarius, passionate, burning, determined. Six is the number of man. We are humans, but this is riding into victoriously. So like I said, whatever this is, you can definitely do it. You can go apply for it. Whatever this venture is, you will be able to be actually very successful in it. Now, again, too, if they're looking for yes people, eh, eh, maybe I'll do it alone. You'll be very successful in that also. Okay, so victory, good news is on its way, public recognition or awards. Your last card again reversed, the Empress. Now, Archangel Gabriel, remember the Archangels don't always come in the readings. So write Gabriel's name down. Now Gabriel is the divine messenger, so you could have some messages here. But the Empress, remember the Empress to me is like the universe gifting. The universe bringing something maybe surprising to you, something that you weren't quite read, weren't quite really expecting. Now, the the Empress all or the universal energy always feels stronger to me when we go Mercury retrograde. Well, right now we are in the shadow of Mercury retrograde. Mercury does go retrograde on the first of February. So be prepared to for things to happen. Be prepared for unexpected gifts. Be prepared for, you know, for possibly um, different type of, uh, you know, different type of reimbursements. How's that? You know, because I'm not, you know, I'm not necessarily feeling like salaries increases, but different types of reimbursements, which goes along with whatever these ventures are. Okay. And I'm not quite, you know, and again, too, maybe you do already have a job. Maybe you are, um, you know, maybe, you know, this could be a sideline also because I feel like it should be called more a venture. You know, not, not adventure, but a venture. It, it's more of a, it's more of a, like a, it could be a, a sideline. It, it could, it may not be your, your main focus, but it does feel very, um, you know, it does feel something that, that, um, it's going to bring you more reimbursement. I'm going to just put it as that. How's that? So, what you know, but that Empress has that Empress has lots of good stuff coming for you. So I feel good with that too. Now, okay, sure, you want to pop? No, yes, okay. So we have a couple of cards that have already popped. This is more for clarification. Let's pull out this last one here. I don't know if they're reversed. We will find out. But remember, this is your main reading. But again, too, if you know, you will not do well with if they expect you to be a yes man or yes woman or yes person. You have, you know, you're like, uh, I don't quite. Uh, let's go. Let's revisit that a little bit. That's not quite right. Or if you're looking at the figures, you're going to be saying, "What's this expenditure? What's this expenditure?" You're going to see a lot of things. You know, you will have the ability. It's like you're. It's like the air energy is taking your natural. Um, inclinations to see things that are out, you know, that are not necessarily in sync, you're going to see them even stronger. Okay. Anyway, let's see what we have here. The Throat Chakra. Okay. Now, chakras are energy sources. You can't really see them on an x-ray or anything like that. But five has change energy. Now, we go from the base to the heart. These are more of our natural energies the heart to our crown, which is, becomes more of our spiritual energies. The throat chakra is exactly where it's at, the throat, okay? Now, many times over when it's the throat chakra and you're seeing this in here, I'm kind of feeling like there might be things that it's like you can't hold back. You just can't, you know, you can't stop yourself. It's like a divine force. It's like when I tell you that, you know, I'm an intuitive channeler and I open myself up, it could be that things are just popping out of your mouth and you're like, I didn't really want to say that, but it just, I couldn't help myself because again, you can't be that yes person. You have to speak the truth. You have to say what needs to be said. Now, the thing is, if you find that's difficult, you need to start practicing that more and more. 
okay? But again, it's like you can't be that yes person. You have to speak the truth. And um, some of my Capricorns have been kind of corralled where, you know, where they feel like if they if they do speak out the truth that, you know, they're going to have the, the hand of, you know, whatever, slap them across the face. And the thing is, you, you just can't help being who you are, and you have to be honest, okay? And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this for whoever that was that was so abusive because all you did was, you know, you were just speaking the truth. Anyway, next card, firm foundation, firm foundation. You know, to me, that's you. You know what you know. Even if you're kind of, even if you're kind of saying, I can get there, you know what you know. You have a strength that many, many others do not have. You have that firm foundation that can be built upon. You have that, this is a four. Fours to me, you know, very much um, stability, stability. So don't, you know, I'm going to try to say this is Aquarius for you, Aquarius energy for you. You really need to have confidence in what you are, who you are, where you are, and where you're going, okay? Please, if I can, if I can get anything across to you, I want to help to build that confidence. Okay, your next card, we have another four here. So we have five, four, four. We have a three, five, four, four. We have a six, two. So interesting with that, but we have a couple of fours going on. Taking care of yourself. So this is, again, you know, so even though, you know, you want to just, you know, you can, you're going to be kind of like, no, that's not right. You do, you know, yes, there is. You still don't whip yourself, okay? Don't whip yourself if you, you know, if if you speak out and, you know, and they're like, no, 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 no. I want you to make sure you take care of yourself too, okay? So, so you've got some interesting stuff here. Now, again, too, you know, rest and rejuvenation, take care of yourself, take care of yourself in the, um, the mental, the physical, the spiritual, get your rest, get your, you know, commune, commune, commune with your higher power, whoever that is to you. Make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're getting your water. Don't burn the candle at both ends, okay? This is not a time for you to do that because the air energy is so strong that, you know, that it can, like, if you're burning your candles at both ends, it can blow them both out. So just be careful with that. But the Six of Fire, the Empress, even the Page of um, Air brings about some really good stuff, really good energy, good, you know, that Page of Air, just just going for it. I see you possibly going for multiple um, ventures, multiple ventures. And I think that you can, you know, you can get to the point, you know, you can actually, um, you know, be victorious in all of them. But it's going to be, again, which is the one that really is going to be the better fit for you. But the Empress with Archangel Gabriel, the universe gifting you down. Did I tell you what that was? You know, lavish abundance. I don't know that I told you. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Again, the birth to your dreams, that venture, that venture. Okay, here we go. Next card. I don't know if these are reversed. I think these are not. Here we go. Guidance. Guidance. I love this card. This, you know, this is beautiful to me. Again, spiritual guidance, higher power guidance, guidance, Archangel Gabriel guidance. Make sure you're connecting. So this is going to be kind of a spiritual month for you too. This one is reversed. Here we go. Breakthrough. So this is a three. So just to kind of three, three. So that kind of, you know, makes a connection with this. This is a six, six, six. This is, again, breakthrough, fire. You know, this is be bold, go after what you want, but at the same time, take care of yourself as you're doing these things. This one is not revealed. So here, let me make sure you see these. Guidance, breakthrough. I love her. I lo Her, he, her, you know, standing tall. Here we go. Transformation. So this is a 13, 13, you know, so 10, 3, 1, 3, you know, very, uh, so you got some of that, you've got some of that 3 energy going on here, but you also have, you know, put it together, it's a 4 energy, so that's stability. Transformation is letting something go and going into something new. Again, I feel new venture. Whatever, what is the venture, my Capricorns? Please tell me, please tell me, because it could be a job. But I think it feels different than just a job. It feels 
more substantial. It feels more satisfying in such a job, but you got to be careful about those people that want you to just say yes to them. But transformation, this is lovely because I know this can be kind of like, oh, no, we don't want to see that one. That's like the tower. No, this is the, you know, this is something has to be destroyed in order for it to be born again. This is like the phoenix rising. So something has, so be aware, something has to leave in order for something to, you know, to come in a bigger and better way. Now, none of this suggests that. These are just things saying lots of energy pushing you forward that, you know, when you go forward, you have to leave something behind. Okay? Okay. So it doesn't seem, it doesn't have to be traumatic or dramatic too. It's just that you become stronger. You become stronger. You become, you know, so this, this Aquarius energy is going to do a lot of, is going to have a lot of um, breakthrough energy for you. Anyway, let's go on. Let's see what we have for my, ah, okay. Well, that was an interesting trip. I know it was a fire energy. I think it was Gabriel, but let's go on and see. But I didn't see what the card was. Here we go. Okay, reversed, reversed. Here we go. This is the one that popped for you. The seven of Gabriel. Now, remember, sevens have that divine umbrella. Okay, it's kind of like you do what you can do, but then you have to give it up to the higher power. Gabriel is fire energy. Now, you know, we talked about what fire energy is all about. This is about, you know, remember I told you about speaking up, standing up? This is about standing up for yourself. This is your time. Also to remember, if you don't learn the lessons, you have to repeat the lessons. And we're coming into this really big, we're coming into this karmic circle. I think it's the the 1st through the 20th of February, where karma needs to be met, needs to be balanced, needs to be resolved. And if you don't learn the lesson, if you, you know, if you know, if you go along and yes, 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 or if you don't learn the lesson, you will repeat it with a different scenario. Have you ever been there, my Capricorns, where you're like, you know, it's a different person, but why do I feel like I've done this before? It's because we haven't learned the lesson learn the lesson. It's okay to stand up for yourself. Now, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power, which is really interesting because my Capricorns, you do give the appearance of having confidence you and you do know what you are talking about, but many times over, it, it, it can be very scary for you. I do understand that I have seen that for you, my, my Capricorns. Have confidence. Have faith. Connect with Archangel Gabriel transformation. This is your time. This is your time. Be who you are supposed to be. Here we go. Next card. The four of Gabriel. So we have some four energy going on here too. So you might want to be looking up some threes and some fours here. And I'm sorry, the four of Raphael. Raphael is water energy. It is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy fluid. It's very emotional. And part of the four, part of the Raphael, the four of Raphael, four of water, is kind of looking back and kind of like, like, well, maybe I didn't really quite like that, but that's safe. But I'm not quite ready to take that. But I'm not really sure that I like that, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. You know, it, it's kind of like, you know, you're kind of feeling a little caught in the middle. But something good is coming to you. Let go. Let go. Anyway, Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. So that's the second time. Well, no, that wasn't the second time. I thought, did we have anything else about magic in here? No. 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 Okay, sorry. Um, be aware of your own emotions. And you know what? It's okay to feel what you're feeling with it. Whatever this was that I was talking about, you know, that was kind of, you know, to make you not feel like you can be who you are. Because, you, you know, you're needed here, my Capricorns. So... This last card is reversed. Here we go. The Queen of Raphael. This one I do love. This, the, the Raphael Queen's emotional energy of water. This is Queen of Raphael, which is water in itself. This is, so there is some emotional, you know, this is, there is some vulnerability here. There is some, you know, taking a little bit of a risk with this too. It's letting people see you, possibly sharing who you are with other people. 
um, you know, or letting people see that dark, not, not that deeper side of you, not the dark, well, maybe it is a darker side, but that side that you like to keep hidden. How's that? Okay. But this is letting others see you and knowing that it's okay. There's a lot of freedom coming with Aquarius energy, and I think that you will benefit from it. You will actually, um, you will actually come into more of your truer self. A lot of that part that you haven't. Now, granted, I can hear some of my Capricorns going, "Oh, but Debbie, I yeah, when I when I'm getting down to it, I'm going to just let it all rip." Well, you know what? You got the throat chakra saying, "Let it all rip." People don't want to hear what I want to say because I'm I'm going to say the truth. Well, you know, maybe it's time for that truth, right? Right. Anyway, kind, understanding, giving, psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy, psychic information. So this also telling me that you're going to have a really strong connection with that, you know, with your higher power, Archangel Gabriel. You're going to have a strong connection. You're going to get a lot of these downloads. I said that in the beginning that, you know, Aquarius air energy is, you know, I said that with the page of air. There's a lot of downloads that come with this. Okay, think of it. Now, I don't want to think of us as a computer, but we do have a brain. And many in our brain has, you know, infinite possibilities of learning. So a lot of things get downloaded. Um, we just know what we know what we know. So trust yourself. Trust yourself. Now, what possible crystal or energy might be helpful for my Capricorns? This is reversed. Here we go. Rose quartz. I do have rose quartz here. Is this my rose quartz? I think this is my rose quartz. This is raw. This is not polished. Here we go. I like rose quartz. Here we are. Unconditional love. Maybe that's for yourself. Maybe that's for another. Maybe you're going to find that. Romance, nourishing, soothing. I like rose quartz. It's a wonderful stone to have. It's not that expensive. I'm always worried because some of the stones, I'm like, ah, they can be expensive. So, my Capricorns, let's take a moment to press that like button. <laughs> so, like, share, subscribe. It's all good. It does help, though, but thank you. More importantly, my Capricorns, and as always, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.